if you ever are lucky enough to work with somebody that's really, really, really talented, even if you don't get along, even if you have different personalities, you'll always be best served to try to make it work the best you can. If for no other reason than selfish reasons. Because if that person leaves you and you don't make it work and they leave and crush it with somebody else, it'll land on you, that you were the problem. You see this in divorces. Uh, you see a divorce. The woman leaves the marriage and flourishes in her new life. The husband sinks. It was him. It wasn't her. She's great with that. It was him. So another story comes out today about OBJ and Baker Mayfield. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You think I'm going to pick on Baker. So I'm going to try to keep this semi-generic just so you don't think I'm picking on him. According to ESPN's Jake Trotter, a very good reporter, somebody I follow, a Brown starter was asked about those YouTube videos that were linked when OBJ, just before he left Cleveland, OBJ's dad put out videos of like Baker and OBJ. OBJ's wide open. Baker couldn't get him the ball. And Jake Trotter talked to a Brown starter who anonymously said, I didn't look at those videos. I didn't need to. I saw it every day at practice. So I think I said this on the air. I'm pretty sure I did. I was told that Baker and OBJ were fine initially, but it got very chilly later in the relationship. And again, this has been my criticism on Baker. He makes everything harder than it needs to be. But I really do think, and this is a good lesson for me and other people, if you work with talented people and you're not a perfect personality fit, make it work as best you can. Because when you split, you will be judged when that talented person goes and flourishes elsewhere. You will be judged. And OBJ goes to the Rams, McVay and Stafford, and crushes. And crushes. And every GM in the league saw it. Every receiver in the league saw it. Every Cleveland Brown saw it. It hurt Baker. He can't get work. It really hurt. I mean, Baker's got a couple of things working against him. He's got a combative personality. But you know what? Jay Cutler got a bunch of chances. So did he. I mean, combative personalities. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, he just got the highest contract. He can be combative. Kyler Murray's going to get a good contract. Combative personality. And he's kind of expensive. Not terribly expensive, but $18 million is kind of expensive. Baker's not that expensive, and he's not that combative that you wouldn't give him another chance. I think the OBJ thing hangs over him. By the way, OBJ said he'd be willing to go back to Cleveland once Deshaun Watson got signed. So that tells you what I was told about Baker and OBJ. It didn't work. So there's no reason Baker's unemployed. He's absolutely one of the 32 best quarterbacks in the NFL. He's not that expensive. I think it's the toxicity, the combativeness. And the OBJ situation. And, I, and, I, and, it, and it really goes down to something, a fundamental principle I have had, a criticism about Baker. Just make it easier. Stop being snarky. Get along with people. Make it work. We've all worked with people in our lives. I mean, I've been in this business 25 years. I've worked with people I love, people I don't like. Just make it work. Just do the best you can. You're not going to be working forever. You, you, somebody will move on. But what you don't want to do is it doesn't work at all, they leave and crush, and it lands on you. So for selfish reasons, get along with people, especially talented people. Just figure it out. And by the way, we know this, that sometimes historically in football, the wide receivers have been bigger personalities. Tom Brady, Antonio Brown, he makes it work. Tom Brady, Randy Moss, he makes it work. I mean, Tom's the greatest example of he just figures it out. He gives of himself, uh, relinquishes a little power, is there for the player. We know that wide receivers are the first to break the huddle. They tend to be the NBA players of the NFL. They're empowered. They're probably the most talented people in the NFL. Sometimes they come with a little personality. T.O. came with it. Uh, Andre Risen, uh, Michael Irvin. There's been a lot of them. Make it work. Just, just do the best you can to make it work. Because now I think this thing lands on Baker. And it hurts him. Folks, he can't get a job. There's seven teams that need a quarterback. It was a bad quarterback class. He couldn't get a job. What happens next year when the over-under on quarterbacks entering the draft is six and a half in the first round? That's the over and under I read last week. Six and a half quarterbacks are going to be taken in the first round next year. You think he struggled? How, how do you struggle to get work now? I mean, Garoppolo's got an excuse. He's got an injury. He had surgery. So it can't just be the money and the combativeness. It can't because he's too good to be just sitting on the beach. 
The OBJ thing hurt. Get along with people, even if they're difficult. 